Hey there, everyone. Welcome and thanks for joining me. This is Heather Lloyd Martin, and I'm CEO of SuccessWorks SEO Copywriting. Today is yet another installment in our How to Start an SEO Copywriting Business series, and it is three things that you must include in your copywriting contract. So please know that I am not an attorney and this does not constitute legal advice. However, I have been reading copywriting contracts for a very, very long time, and I've seen some really spectacular ones, and I've seen some agreements that leave the copywriter wide open to litigation or not getting paid or other bad things that can happen. So I want to talk about three very important things, and of course your contract is going to include more information than just this. So the first point is the one that all copywriters love is, is about the money. When will you get paid and how much will you get paid? So you'll want to outline things like how much is the deposit and when it is, is it due? So there is another video in the series that talks about the importance of a retainer. And in most cases, that retainer is due before the copywriter starts writing. If you're splitting up the payments, you'll also want to have due dates of when those other payments are due. And then for the final payment, consider having all the money on your side of the table before you release that last page or that last group of pages. What can sometimes happen is that you release the work, the client has the work, and then it takes a long time to get paid. So if the money is on your side of the table, then it you make sure that you don't have to worry about chasing down a receivable after you've already completed the work. The second thing you want to consider is when is a page considered accepted and done? And this is something that I have in my contract now because you don't want to wait and wait and wait for feedback. And we've all had this happen to us as you turn into a, a page and then you're pinging the client after three weeks saying, hey, did you receive it? Uh, do you like it? Should I go on to other pages? So this protects you and, and it protects a gig from going on forever and ever or a client coming back three months later and saying, yeah, I'm ready to finish up the contract now. I need it done by this week. So consider giving your client a set amount of time for review. So in my agreement, it's five business days. After that, the content is considered accepted. Certainly, if there are other outstanding circumstances, you can make exceptions for clients if you know that someone's on vacation and you'll want to accommodate them for that one time. But in general, I think that this is really important to stick to because it makes sure that client is accountable for checking out your work. And the third thing is to be really specific about what you're doing for the client. And I've seen this and heard this happen a lot of times where the deliverables in the contract weren't outlined very well. And so the client comes back with, well, what do you mean you didn't do key phrase research? I thought I was paying you for key phrase research. You wrote the page without the key phrase research. It becomes a mess. So when you outline it out clearly of it's going to, to be up to three hours of this and we're going to provide this service and write this page with the titles and the descriptions, that really helps the client and it helps to protect you as well. So the best advice with all of this, work with an attorney. Really, uh, I was just got done talking to my attorney around an agreement and it was a really good conversation and he made a lot of changes that were very good for both me and my clients. Working with an attorney will cost less than you think. It really, really will and it will save your bacon many times over. So even if you're brand new to the business and you're struggling and you are trying to save costs, this is one cost that is very much worth incurring. So I highly recommend finding a good attorney and helping and having him or her help you with your agreement. So thank you very much. If you enjoyed these copywriting business tips and you want to learn how to make more money in your freelance copywriting business without working so darn hard, uh, you can send an email to writeforincome at aweber.com and you can you will receive some really nice actionable tips and things to think about. You may also want to check out the Copywriting Business Boot Camp at seocopywriting.com. I run classes once every six weeks or so. And also, if you're looking for general SEO copywriting information and how to boost your business and write better content for your clients or your company, you can sign up for my newsletter with daily or weekly updates at seocopywriting.com. 
And of course, if you have any questions or comments about today's uh, webinar, I would love to hear from you. Uh, please feel free to email me at heather at seocopywriting.com or you can track me down on Twitter at, at Heather Lloyd. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care and have a fantastic day.